Hello and welcome to a short video that shows you how to put a template into a wiki so that if you would like you or your students to type into it, they can. Um, this is all done in Moodle, by the way. <clears throat> so I've logged into a Moodle site here, um, opened a course. I'm just going to turn editing on. And then we're going to create a new wiki. So we'll go down to an empty topic space here, go to add an activity, wiki, and we'll just put this in as um, recipes in from Japan. And I've got a template already made up. So I'm just putting it in as HTML so that I get the um, table format as it should be. And you'll see the uh, characters in J Japanese all, all here. Uh, we'll leave all of this as is. We will call this recipes from Japan. And we'll not put any specific groups in. And we'll leave it uncategorized for now. And then we're going to save and return to the course. Sorry, save and display. And what you'll see here is the template, but you can't add edit it. You can only sort of highlight things. If you want your students to be able to uh, type directly into it, or you want to type directly into it, you also need to put the template into the wiki space. So again, I'm going to put this in as in HTML. Um, it's exactly the same table. So I'm going to turn my HTML toggle on. If I want to edit this in a bigger window, what I can do is use the pop out enlarge editor here which gives me more um, choices on what to do. And it also gives me a much bigger window to work in. You could, the students could do the same. So I'm just going to pop this in as HTML. When I take that angle bracket off again, I can see my table in here. And I can edit it. So say I want to just give students a bit more of a space here, like so. Then I can make, minimize the window again. I can preview it. So if I'm going to just check that it looks OK before I, I publish it. So, yep, that all looks fine. And then I'm going to save. And what you'll see here now is um, this is what is in the wiki. This is the introductory page. For students to edit this, the student would obviously log in. They then click edit. And you'll see the template is in here. So the student would be able to uh, make that large and then type directly into here. Yummy. Like so. Can minimize that window again and can save. And this is what you'd, you'd see that the student had done. And you can see the added yummy there. So that's how. You set up a wiki from scratch. You put in your introductory section up here that's not editable by students. It's only editable by you. And then how students can see the template and edit the template. And of course, you can get groups of students to work in the same template in the same wiki if you wanted to. I hope this is helpful. And thank you very much.